coronavirus pandemic has led to thousands losing their jobs. A lot of my friends and colleagues have unfortunately been made redundant in a job market that really is biased at the moment towards employers. What I'm hearing from my mates is that they're struggling to even get a look in at a job, not even making it past the application stage. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how you can maximize your chances of getting over that first hurdle and securing a job interview hopefully relieving some of the stress and anxiety that comes with looking for a job in the current market. Hey, I'm Tom, and in the last few years, I've been working in startups, which, while really fun, does have its downsides. For example, in the last company I worked at a week before uh, the end of the month, we were told that the company had run out of cash and we'd all have to look for new jobs. In that time, I put together this Notion TV template and managed to secure a job within two weeks. Now, obviously that's not the cause of me getting the job, but I definitely think it contributed to me getting more interviews. So today we're gonna to break down that template. So hopefully you can increase your chances of getting the job that you want. First, we're gonna talk about why using Notion is a great tool for making a public CV. And then we're gonna actually just deep dive into my personal CV so that you can maybe take some of the elements and lessons and apply it to your own. Then we're gonna look at some of the ways that you can easily integrate a Notion TV into a personal website before addressing some of the pitfalls and concerns that you might have with this approach and offering a few ways that you can counter that. The main reason that I think Notion is a great tool for creating a CV is because it makes you stand out just enough that it sort of pops a bit when recruiters look at them, but not too much that it's alienating and not something that they would expect to see. Apparently only 20% of people who apply for a job actually get an interview, but in my experience it's far less than that. So I really just think like having a beautiful CV that just really pops to recruiters is just gonna give you that edge to hopefully put those numbers to your advantage. Another important point to mention is that apparently 80% of all jobs are actually filled without putting a job listing out there anyway. And this is because you know recruiters are directly messaging people through either LinkedIn pages or finding you through other means. So it really is crucial that somewhere you have access for people to see a public CV of yours. And in my experience, Notion is just the quickest and easiest way to set something like that up. I personally have a link to my CV wherever you're gonna find me on the internet. And even though I'm not actively looking for a job, I think it is just nice to know that there are people reaching out to you and perhaps when you come to a point where you do look to change jobs, you're already gonna have a few recruiters in your inbox who you might wanna reach out to. The third reason I think using Notion for a CV is really good is just how much minimal effort it takes from creating your CV to then turning that into a personal website, which is something we're gonna to explore towards the end of the video. So let's take a look at my Notion CV and why I think it's effective. I'll leave a description to my template uh, below. I've actually really just used the Notion stock uh, CV template and altered it slightly. You really don't need to reinvent the wheel on this. Recruiters are used to looking at sort of very formulaic layouts and you don't don't want to jar them too much so there's a reason why generally most CVs look pretty similar. So the first and most important thing that we have is the value proposition as I call it which is just this sort of header text here and this is probably the most important aspect of the CV because here you really want to sell exactly what you're looking for and who you are. I think a mistake that people make here is they go far too broad they try and say that they can do everything. As you'll notice in my CV I've very, very clearly said that I'm a generalist and that I'm looking for early stage uh, sort of startups. And this is gonna discount so many different companies, people who are looking for specialist product managers, people who are you know, past series B and C in their fundraising. But for me, that's absolutely fine because I really thrive in these early stage environments where you can wear a lot of hats. And also it's gonna mean that those companies that are looking for those kinds of roles are gonna see that, it's gonna stand out straight away, and most likely I'm gonna get an interview. This might seem you know, counterintuitive to, to pick a niche, but really if you end up trying to please everybody, you end up pleasing no one. After the contact details, you have your work experience. And here I just like to briefly describe what the company was and the key things that I did while I was working there. It's really valuable here if you can to put in some metrics. People love to see measures of your success. Um, if you want to keep this snappy, you might want to forego the bit that describes the, the company itself and just limit it to what your exact role was. I like this idea that I took from the Notion template of giving yourself uh, star ratings in your skills. I just think it really makes it exactly clear to potential employers what your strengths are. 
don't be that guy that gives yourself uh, five stars for everything and actually use this to your advantage by perhaps in areas where you don't want to be working giving yourself a lower rating. So for example I've put here programming uh, languages and my expertise in them and just giving myself one star. This is because while I have like a general context of programming, I've done you know some online courses and I can have the conversation, I don't want to be interviewed for a role that's going to require what we call like a technical product manager. So this is somebody who has vast experience with programming and coding. So this is just a really good way for you to vet out potential recruiters who are looking for you and you're not going to be a good fit for their role. Finally, we have articles, blogs, anything like that that you might want to tie into your CV. I think it's a real advantage if you can find a niche publication somewhere that's operating in the industry that you're interested in and write something for them. It gives you a bit of credibility. It's not that difficult to do. Plus, if an employer or potential employer ends up reading that and finding it interesting, the chance of you getting an interview are very high. Just a note on the general feel of my CV, obviously I've put in here a lot of emojis, it's very playful, and you know, this is fitting with applying for early stage startups. If I was applying for a position in a legal firm, I'm probably not gonna use this level of playfulness. I'm probably gonna keep it a lot more anodyne. Okay, so that's an overview of how to make a CV using Notion. If you want, you can stop here, create a link, bang it on your LinkedIn or wherever it might be. But for a pound more and 30 minutes worth of effort, you can take this Notion CV and make it into a really cool personal website. I'm not going to go into the details of my personal website in this video, but I will in future videos, so if you're interested in that, press subscribe. But I will take you through how to set up a very simple uh, CV with your custom domain. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and buy a domain. Just choose your name, that's probably the best bet to be honest. Uh, and then you can get now these sort of weird endings, which can make it quite fun, but more importantly just very cheap. So I got tech. it was only a pound for the first year, I think it would be like 40 quid after that, so not really a massive outgoing. The next thing you're going to want to do is take that domain and link it with your Notion page. This process takes about 20 minutes, um, I'm not going to describe it in detail in this video, there's other videos out there um, that explore this and I'll leave them in the description. More importantly, there's a really good article on how to do it. You have to use a site called Fruition, um, which is one of these really cool Notion developer tools out there. And what they do is they then link up your Notion page with your custom domain so that you can then go to, in my example, www.tomlitler.tech and there you have my Notion page with my domain. I mean, it doesn't look like a, a personal website, but it's definitely a step up from not having a website at all. And just, I think, adds that element of this guy's trying hard, this guy knows what he's doing, so that when you do come to apply for jobs, uh, recruiters take you a bit more seriously. Let's quickly just go through some drawbacks of why you might not want to use uh, Notion for your CV. And the biggest drawback that I can see is if you're applying for really large companies. You know, if you're applying for big consultancy firms, law firms, accounting firms, most likely these companies have these really strict processes in place where A, a lot of the times they don't even accept the CV because you've got to fill out their ridiculous application form. I remember having to do this when um, I was a graduate looking for, for graduate roles. But also, even if you do send a CV, they're going to have this machine that basically checks for keywords so that it matches the job description so the recruiter basically is as efficient as possible. Um, and if this is the case, then sending a link to your website isn't going to work. You're going to need to send it as a Word document. I guess you could download Notion, uh, your Notion CV as a PDF. But to be honest, I wouldn't recommend that because the PDF export functionality, it really isn't that great. Having said that, I do think that this exercise is still going to be useful for you to go through because you still want somewhere public that people can see your CV. And the best way, in my opinion, to do that, if you don't have a personal website, is creating a Notion page. The one other drawback of this approach is that you can't alter your CV depending on who you're applying to. I know some people like to uh, sort of make their CV unique for each employer. I think that takes too much time personally. I just like to have one and then I'll maybe change the cover letter. Um, but yeah, if you were wanting to have a really specific um, CV to each person, uh, this probably isn't going to be the best approach for you.
Thanks a lot for sticking around to the end. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, bang the like button, press subscribe, and of course, if you've got any friends that are struggling finding work at the moment, send this to them. Who knows, it might help them get over the first hurdle. I'll also leave a playlist here for my other Notion guides, which you might want to check out. Thanks a lot, and have a nice day.